Never felt anything so soft. Hello, YouTube world. Pretend farmer here. Not a real farmer, just pretending. I'm just gonna show you what it's like having all these animals running around here and kind of how I play with them and interact with them and enjoy them. And there goes our bunny over there to hang out with the chickens. What do you think about that, Pearl? Pretend Farmer wanted to go with Dolly Pardon for the turkey's name. Uh, Pardon, P-A-R-D-O-N. We haven't ate her yet, so clearly she's been pardoned. And also she is a broad-breasted white turkey. So there's that aspect of it. Uh, but one of our subscribers suggested Pearl. She's looking extra clean right now. She does kind of look like a polished up Pearl. Get up here chickens always come back to the place where they started at in the morning. It makes them real easy to put away at night. Bunnies aren't like that. Go get that thing, Samson. Would you do your job, Samson? Works every time. Works every time. Open the door. Open it. You're gonna have a fat attack, aren't you? This is the easiest one. Yeah, she's she's the easiest one to catch it, and she because she's so fat. Hey, Pearl. Yes, good, good Pearl. We have some really unconventional methods here on the pretend farm. It would normally be a terrible idea to turn a beagle loose on a rabbit, uh, but since we have a pretend beagle and he's not real. And also, since Samson's pretty fat, he, he's way too fat to catch the bunny, but he works great as an usher to get them back where they need to be uh, from time to time when they do get out. Very messed up, but it's what we do here. I mean, like everywhere I go, this thing is just like right on me. We got a proud chocolate mommy chicken here on the pretend farm this Saturday morning with six orange babies. These are not babies she hatched, but we purchased these from Tractor Supply as sexed pullets that should grow up to all be laying hens unless they messed up and got one confused. And I like doing it that way, just because you know what you get. We don't have to worry about roosters, hopefully. I don't know why my white turkey's stalking me this morning with her wings down like that. It's very intimidating. I feel like you're getting closer. As with all of our broody hens, they love to take their chicks on the other side of the fence where they can be alone with them. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Hey there, little baby chicken. These are all gonna be Rhode Island Reds. They're very pretty. Especially when they're young, they just kind of have that orange ginger look to them. Oh, did you decide to come the rest of the way? You're definitely stalking me. Uh, yeah, I know what my kid, oh, I know what you want. Oh my goodness, okay. Yes, oh, that's tasty water. It's much more satisfying to eat out of the tub, isn't it, kitty? Yes, it is. That's what we call the five-minute fill-up here. Uh, our kitty really doesn't spend much time inside with us. He comes in for his food and water, and then he's ready to go right back out into the jungle. Uh, he'll roam all night, and then he comes in to sleep, and then he eats and drinks, and he leaves again. Other than getting some eggs from our chickens, our animals really don't provide anything for us here or serve any kind of purpose at all. It's very much what makes us the pretend farm here. I must say though, I trimmed Bucky's spurs like a real farmer would do. Check these things out. Those are some nicely trimmed spurs he's got there on the back of his legs. And pretend farmer did that. 
I hope you like my new coffee mug. It's got a rooster on it that looks almost identical to Bucky. And best of all, I got it from Goodwill for $2. I really like that it has a rooster on it. I really like that it was $2. Till next time, this is the Pretend Farmer, signing out.